Hiya, kids. Remember, Nuka World is only open for a few more weeks in October. Come down and see me and Kathy one last time before buckling down for the winter. Don't forget to bring your empty bottle of Nuka Cola. Fifteen dollars off at the gate. So hop aboard the Nuka Express and come and see the whole Nuka family. You still can. The Nuka Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old. Pretty good for your age, huh? Hey, Valentine. Where's your son? What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things... Considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. If 
feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. man like that would have had access, in and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh, sure. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Hey, see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here?
Hank, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Uh-huh. You better back off, or you're the one. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. Steps through the gate the first time. <laughs> I like you already. Walk into a new place, make a show of dominance. Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace malarkey. a weapon like that, somebody might think you're looking for trouble. Well, hello. Everything here is Garrett. charge of good neighbor these days who runs the seedy sanctuary you're looking at it but i'll sell you a stake in it 100 caps wait no 50 10 yeah thanks but i think i'll pass Before you ask, I wasn't responsible for the decor, so I don't want to hear it. Amari. I'm a bit busy. What is it? The memory den's not accepting new clients right now. Don't bother asking me how the memory loungers work. I don't have time to teach the years of neurophysiology it would take you to understand. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Borowski the other day? Huh. 
He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to get McDonough kicking the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with them on head. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? during the speech. Yeah. It's good to be back in Diamond City. Nick. Time to hit the road? Not now. Well, I'll be around if you... <coughs> Time to hit the road? You interested in travel? Sure. Could be. Not now. Well, I'll be... Uh-huh. Nick. Time to hit the road? Not now. Well, I'll be around. If you... 